Andy. Andy. Fish, bro, fish. What's up, guys? Jason coming back at you with another video. I've noticed that you guys really like these catch and cook videos, so I've got Andy along with me, and we are going to try to chase some big brook trout, okay? We're fishing around some streams that we know hold some giants, so we're hoping we can get a hold of one or two, and we're gonna put them right on the small little grill that I have with me. If you guys saw the lake trout catch and cook that I did during the winter time, we're gonna do something similar, so it should be pretty amazing. So you ready to go catch some fish, Andy? Yes, sir. All right, let's go catch some fish. Stay All tuned. right, guys. So we're getting ready to go out and do a little bit of trout fishing. We're gonna try to do a catch and cook for some brook trout. I wanted to show you guys my setup because I think it's always nice to kind of let you know what I'm using. So that way, if you want to go out and do it, you can do it too. So my reel is a PC Fun Carbon X 1000. The reason I choose this 1000 is because it weighs next to nothing. It's actually lighter than most of the 500 size spinning reels on the market. Now the rod that I have here is the brand new PC Fun Serpent Series in a six foot six inch ultralight. When it comes to my line, nice six pound braid to a four pound fluorocarbon leader. And it's simply just a split shot and a drop shot hook. We're gonna put a half a night crawler on there and hopefully the brook trout are gonna like it. Stay tuned guys. All right guys, let's see if we can go down here and find us a trout. Hopefully maybe some brookies or maybe a couple browns. Oh, I just broke my hook off again. All right, guys, so Andy and I have tried a couple of different spots. Basically what we're doing is we're just bridge hopping. So we're locating bridges uh, that are on streams and we're just going and we're fishing each of those bridges. So uh, we've hit a few so far, we haven't caught any fish. So we're gonna do a few more and hopefully we can make this thing happen. So I don't know, fingers crossed guys. The funniest thing about this video, guys, is we are literally bridge hopping with like a full boat and truck right now because we actually came to do some bass fishing, but then we decided, uh, let's shoot a trout video. So we are bridge hopping with a truck and a boat. I just missed one. All right guys, we are down to our last spot. So we've bridge hopped like six or seven bridges now. Um, we just haven't had the luck that we hoped we were gonna have. It's, it's a lot tougher than I anticipated. Um, but we're gonna try one more bridge, one more spot, and hopefully we can catch this brook trout and, and do this catch and cook. Um, it's always tough guys when you come out and you do a video or you try to do a video and you can't get it done because you know you, you have, you've wasted all that time and effort you know, it's never a waste because you always learn something, um, especially when you're hanging out with a good buddy. You know, it's always a fun time. But one more, guys, one more bridge, and hopefully we can make it happen. Stay tuned.
Andy. Andy. Fish, bro, fish. Oh, dude, that is a tank. Oh my gosh. Look at that fish, guys. That is a giant brookie. Guys, catch and cook time. It is game on. Look at that beautiful, beautiful brook trout. Beautiful. Guys, look at that beautiful fish. Look at that beautiful brookie. All right, guys, so we're getting ready to do our catch and cook here. Um, we caught this really, really nice brook trout. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna just make our incision here and cut up the belly. All the way up top, there's a nice nice bluegill there in that. Look at that, guys. If you've ever seen uh, or think a trout doesn't eat big fish, that trout ate a solid three and a half inch bluegill. So <laughs> that is crazy. So we would go ahead and made our cut all the way up top. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that there's this bloodline along the spine. You want to take your thumbnail and just go ahead and push all the blood out of that. All right, guys, so we've got our brookie nice and cleaned up. But that meat looks really good. Again, I'm going to show you, look at that, guys. Look at the bluegills that thing was eating. That is nuts. I'm going to show you that compared to the size of this fish. I mean, he was hungry. Can you fit that in there? Yeah, I guess so. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and get everything prepped. Go ahead and get this on the grill. First thing we need to do is crack open our aluminum foil here. Get a sheet of this going if we can open it. Let's get a sheet of this going. Go ahead and put that right on the grill. Get the rest of our stuff prepped here. We're doing a pretty simple recipe here, guys. It's just going to be a little bit of butter, some salt and pepper. All right, guys. So we have got our rookie on the grill. Got the heat going. We're just going to simply put them right inside of the brookie here. That's going to allow it to get some good flavoring in there. We're going to kind of pack those in there. Got some salt and pepper here, real simple stuff, nothing too crazy. So we'll throw some pepper on this guy. Like I said, guys, nothing too crazy, just a real simple recipe. If you want, you could put onions in here, you could put lemon, um, but we're keeping it pretty simple today. All right. We're gonna throw that over the top of them just to get us a nice seal on the grill. And then we'll be, uh, we'll be back to give you guys an update here shortly. All right, guys, we're going to give you a little update here. It's going to take a look and see what it's looking like. Oh, look at all that butter. This is going to be delicious, guys. All right, guys, here we go. Oh my God, that is amazing. Andy, you gotta try this. Wow. So good. Well guys, our catch and cook for brook trout was a success. It took us a while to finally catch one. We hopped so many bridges. Um, Andy was nice and patient as he was doing some filming for me. 
So we finally got it done and guys, it was amazing. I actually think it was better than the lake trout that I made this winter. So if you guys like these catch and cook videos, make sure you comment below. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Head on over, check us out on Instagram and hit us up on Facebook and Twitter. We'll see you on the water next time.